Number seven, if A and B are even, then which must be even? hated these types of problems, the dreaded one only, two only, three only, one and two only. Oh, all right, let's see if we can figure this out. Well, A is an even number. Well, actually, first, what the heck do we mean by an even number? So an even number is a number that is divisible by two. Examples of even numbers would be two, four, six, etc., etc. So A is even, so A can be divisible, uh, A is divisible by 2, so we could think of this as A can be written as some number 2 times K. Now, what do I mean by this? Um, 6, one of the even numbers, is 3 times, 6 is 2 times 3. 8 is 2 times 4, et cetera, et cetera. So um, we can always do this with the even numbers. Well, how does this help us out? Since A is equal to 2 times K, 2A is just 2 times 2K or 4K, which is divisible by 2. So that tells us that since we get 2k, um, this guy was divisible by 2, looks like this is even. Now I have to admit, uh, some of you might say, oh, that was a, sure, sure was a lot of work for this. Maybe I could have done that by just looking at it. Twice any number is divisible by 2. This helps us get set up for, num uh, for the second part. Because a plus b is then equal to 2k plus 2m. How does this help us? Well, this is then equal to 2 times k plus m, where k could be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, for example. Maybe m is 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe 7, maybe 20. Then we have 2 times k plus m, and you got it. This guy is also divisible by 2. So that must mean that a plus b is also even. What about a plus b plus 1? Well, here we have 2k plus 2m plus 1 and we have a problem. The problem is that I can't factor a 2 out of all of these pieces. So that must mean that this guy isn't divisible by 2. So this guy is not even. And in fact, if you think about it, since we got this guy was even, an even number plus 1 is going to give us an odd number. So that's another way of thinking about it. So it looks like the answer is 1 and 2 only for choice D. Minus 1. And it looks like our answer is choice C.